You mistake a woman's unavailability for high quality. Want to know one of the things that gets so, so many men in trouble in dating is them mistaking the one thing that they don't see coming that winds up biting them in the butt, gentlemen, when they realize that despite everything that they have thought, everything that they have done, the relationship isn't on the right track at all. Hello, gentlemen, my name is Apollonia Ponte, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about that because this is a very important video. I am a dating and relationship coach for men, and I specialize in helping men attract great high quality women and improving their dating life and their relationship lives and reaching their highest potential as well. So if you want to attract and keep a high value woman and make your love life better, click that subscribe button if you are a first time viewer right now and like this video. Also too, to my fellow subscribers and my loyal ones, thank you so much for being here with me. Comment below as you watch this video as I love interacting with you. All right, this is why this video is so important to me is because I really have seen this so much. I'm gonna be talking to you about the concept of high quality women, okay? And how so many men make the basically error of mistaking a woman's unavailability for really just high value and high quality. Yes, guys, this is something I have seen every single day when men come to me for either my group sessions or my one-on-one -on -one sessions and tell me that they don't understand what's going on or what's wrong because they can don't have trouble attracting women and the woman is so incredible and she looks, she's so special. She's this and she's that. But at the end of the day, when I dig deeper to find more about this woman, I find that the man is interpreting her behavior as something that means that she's high value and he has to work hard to get her. When in reality, she actually is just emotionally unavailable, gentlemen. So if you're in this situation right now, or if you've have ever been in this situation, or if you want to equip yourself with the knowledge and the right tools that will make sure that you don't ever get in these types of situations, or it doesn't happen to you again, then this is going to be where you want to stick around because you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to explain why this mistake is so easy to make, but also how to identify the differences between a high value woman and an emotionally unavailable woman as well. So if that sounds good to you, let's get into it right now. First and foremost, I want to give you basically five of the most common reasons I think men make this mistake in general. Here are five well-researched reasons of why people often mistake an emotionally unavailable partners for high value partners as well because of my experience with coaching. This is where it's coming from. One, it's because of the challenge and excitement. Emotionally unavailable partners often come across as mysterious and enchanting, which can be super alluring to some people, especially depending on their behaviors growing up and what they've challenged and faced. The challenge of trying to break through their emotional barriers and win for their affection can create a sense of excitement and adventure and the need to be gratified from them in the relationship, but also can be counterintuitive to a trauma bond, meaning you're attracting the people in your love life now that you've coexisted in your life growing up. Maybe you were looking for acceptance from your parents. This is where we also will uh, look at the patterns of how our love life of attracting women are too. On top of that, research actually suggests that some people are drawn to partners who present a challenge and believing that overcoming obstacles will lead to a more rewarding relationship, which is false. Secondly, it's because of the perceived independence and confidence, really. Emotionally unavailable women may project an image of independence and confidence, which can easily be mistaken for high value. They may appear self-assured and in control of their basically emotions or their traits that are often associated with success and desirability, we should say. And as you know, people, both men and women, are attracted to partners who display confidence and sometimes assertiveness as these traits are often perceived as indicators of high social status or basically more men wanting the woman. Next, we have the illusion of scarcity. 
Emotionally unavailable women may withhold affection or validation, creating an illusion of scarcity that makes them seem more desirable, gentlemen. People tend to basically value things that are perceived as rare or difficult to obtain. I mean, just think about it. Luxury items. If you could buy a Rolex in any vending machine for a few bucks, a couple hundred, they would instantly lose their value, right? Or the allure of them. So in the context of relationships, this can lead you to idolize emotionally unavailable women and perceive them more as valuable due to their perceived scarcity. The fourth reason is due to projection of unresolved issues. All right. Some guys may unconsciously seek out emotionally unavailable partners as a way to basically recreate familiar relationship dynamics from their past. Was talking about this, aka trauma bonding. This can be linked to basically family dynamics in their childhood or even significant others in their past, right? Past relationships. This phenomenon known as repetition, compulsiveness, can lead individuals to mistake emotionally unavailable partners for high value due to their familiarity. And last but not least, it happens quite a bit because of the next one I want to talk about, validation of self-worth. For some people, being chosen by an emotionally unavailable partner or someone that is unavailable can provide a sense of validation for their own self-worth. They may interpret their partner to be reluctant to commit or to express emotions as a sign of their own desirability and attractiveness. So they can own it and they think, if I can control this, if I can get this woman to like me, then I win. I've often seen that individual is that men who struggle with low self-esteem or insecurity may be particularly vulnerable to seeking validation through relationships, basically, leading them to actually mistake emotionally unavailable partners for high value and really getting into broken relationships and attracting really low quality women. So now that you know why it might happen, let's talk about how to make sure it doesn't happen now. (laughs) But before I do that, I want to take a second to really invite you not only to hit that subscribe button right now, if you're a first time viewer, but comment below, let me know your thoughts on this. And also too, if you, this is speaking to you, I'm going to include a link right below. You can book a free consultation call with me or one of my success coaches to see how we can work together. So this doesn't have to happen to you anymore. I have a big coaching program called the algorithm of attraction program. And also I open up possibly one or two more slots, depending on the time that you book a call for my private coaching. All right. So I have made it my mission to give you all the tools you need to be successful in your love life, gentlemen. And I want also to make it easier for you. So let me break this down. Okay. All right. So first there's a big difference in consistency in communication and consistency in commitment. All right. So high value partners always make you feel like some type of priority. You can count on them to text you back. You can count on them to make plans to stick to them. And even if they cancel, they reconsider, they apologize, they um, postpone, but they're always following up to make sure they make it up to you. They're always there for you really no matter what. Emotionally unavailable partners are a bit more unpredictable. Sometimes they're all in showering you with attention. And then other times they disappear into thin air, leaving you wondering like where you stand. But gentlemen, this is why patterns are so important within yourself, because if you're coming off very over pursuing, oh, that could push away a woman as well. What I'm talking about is that both of you have been intentful throughout the process and your attraction is flowing and you're basically understanding that attraction is, you know, pacing. So when we have emotional availability and vulnerability with a high value partner, it's like having your own personal emotional cheerleader, really. It's about being able to talk to them. They're not afraid to open up, share their feelings with you and really create a space where the both of you can feel safe to connect and actually change and talk about a different dynamic if something has come up. But emotionally unavailable partners are more guarded. It's like pulling teeth trying to get them to open up or they lose attraction for you to open up or they might blame you when you co-open up. They might use your emotions against you. They might keep things to surface level to avoid kind of serious conversations altogether. The third we have is respect for boundaries and autonomy, right? A high value partner is about really supporting your independence and autonomy. They cheer you on 
as you know, you pursue your passions, you pursue your goals, and they respect your need for space and you respect your need for me time. But they're not also know that you're not abusing it either. You know that they're pu- you're putting in work to the relationship and so are they. Emotionally unavailable partners can actually be a bit clingy. They might have trouble respecting your boundaries or constantly needing to be in control of everything, gentlemen. So then we have um, the willingness to invest in the relationship, right? This is a big one. High value partners are the ones who go above and beyond to make the relationship kind of intertwine and get to know one another to see if it'll work. Whether it's showing up when things get tough or making sacrifices for the greater good, they're all in. And this does not mean that, you know, in the dating process, someone has to be all in. No, it's more about like when you're in that relationship, emotionally unavailable partners, and you are also providing your best self in the relationship, excuse me. Emotionally unavailable partners are selfish. They might not be willing to put in the effort to make things work. They always place blame on you. They avoid talking about the future altogether. And last but not least, we have consistency between the words and actions, okay? I think that with our high value partners, when you date someone like that, you're going to notice that you're going to feel at peace because what you what you see is what you get. They say what they mean and mean what they say. And you never have to second guess where, you know, you stand with them. They're open to having hard conversations and dialogue because they want to also lead you the right way. And emotionally unavailable partners, on the other hand, will just say their words don't always match their actions. They might make big promises that they can't keep or say one thing and do another, leaving you feeling confused and not safe and frustrated, to be honest. This means that you're actually giving and giving. You feel like you're giving and giving and you just have someone taking and taking. So this is really, really important when it comes to that, because a lot of times I think men want to, they say that they want a high value woman. And you also have to understand that high value women come these days with openness, gentlemen. And it's not about looks. It's not about body type. It's not about any of this. You're going to always get a woman that you're attracted to, but you have to practice understanding what is simpler for you. What do you want? Because simple doesn't mean boring. Simple means safe. Simple means flow. Simple means alignment. That is the woman that you should be choosing. Just remember that hard to get doesn't necessarily equivalent to high quality, gentlemen. Instead, look for a woman who is clear, communicative, and genuine, who still has a good set of standards and values that actually is aligned with yours. Get the, Take the time to get to know her. Don't just basically jump in and think that, oh, I found this woman, so I have this magic recipe for success. Because pay close attention to the women you're dating. Place close attention to the habits so that you can be sure to know the difference between a quality, high quality woman that's at the same playing field as you because you're a high quality man. But also understand that you will attract low quality if you treat yourself low quality, gentlemen. And if you're feeling like you're a little stuck in this situation and you aren't sure how to get out of it, I would encourage you to book a free call with me or one of my success coaches by clicking the link right below and maybe signing up for some coaching with me and we'll see and figure out how we can work together as well. If they'll be right below in the description box as well. So as always, gentlemen, if you want to continue being here on this channel, not only am I going to ask you to subscribe once again, but go ahead and watch this next video right over here about things that you can say and not coming off creepy to a woman when you first approach her and you first engage with her going on to your dates. All right, gentlemen, I'll see you in the next video. Remember, you are always left.